Hello and welcome, my name is Chris from ChristopherHall.com. In this video we're going to be talking about functional exercise because there are a few confusions around what functional exercise is and maybe an incomplete definition of what functional exercise is. So what I'd like to do in this video is maybe give a little bit more of a greater understanding as to what I think functional exercise is and maybe just a sort of a more complete explanation of what functional exercise is because unfortunately it does get um, a bit of a bad rap by some people. Um, it is a bit of a buzzword and when it's practiced it's not necessarily practiced in the uh, in the best way if that makes sense. So we're going to discuss functional exercise in a second, but first, before we can understand what functional exercise is, first we have to understand what function is and being functional is. So on the screen, you can see we've got two definitions. Now, function, an activity that is natural to or the purpose of a person or a thing. And then we have functional or of or having a special activity purpose or task relating to the way in which something works or operates. So what we can start to see there is we're starting to understand function as just function. So it could be the function of a car, it could be the function of uh, a plant pot, you know. Um, but what we're going to obviously be talking about in the next slide is function of the human body. Um, and that is, you know, something that's been up to being debated by various people around the fitness industry for, for for a while now because it is a bit of a buzzword um, and it is a bit of a cliche when it comes to um, exercise. So function is an activity that is natural or the purpose of a thing. Functional is having special activity purpose or a task relating to the way in which something operates. So in the next slide, what we're going to do is we're now going to bring in functional exercise. OK, um, so what we'll do is we'll click through and we'll just get straight into it. So functional exercise. Now, what I've done is I've broken it into two uh, parts, functional exercise. And because I think there's 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 stages to being functional. And obviously the first stage is basic functional exercise and, and then the more advanced one and the next step is advanced functional exercise. And there's a, there's a slight difference between the two and I'll explain the differences between the two. But first I'll just read out the definitions. So basic functional exercise, an activity that relates to the way in which the body works optimally. And then advanced functional exercise, an activity that relates to the way in which the body needs to work to fulfill a specific task. So basic functional exercise is there to develop and promote the body working optimally. So when you push overhead, can you get your shoulder into the most stable position it can go into? If you can, you've got basic function to your body. When you squat, can you squat down and put your hip into its most uh, stable position? Can you put your ankle into its most stable position? If you can, you've got basic function to your body because that's how it works optimally. When you squat down, you externally rotate the knee or you externally rotate the hip, which takes the knee outwards. What that then does, that then allows you to squat safely. Advanced functional exercise is, is, is a lot more um, specific to, let's say, a sport. So if we've got a sport, there are functional exercises for that sport i.e. sprinting would be a lot of explosive leg exercises. That's functional for that exercise or for that sport or that activity. But uh, functional exercise has been sort of lost when it comes to sport and when it comes to relating it back to what the body is. Because first of all, it's my belief anyway, that we need to have proper function of the body before anything. That's like the foundation. Can you move your shoulder properly? Can you use your hip properly? That's sort of stage one. When you can do that, then, we then, then you move on to the advanced functional exercise. So you maintain, you don't just stick to doing basic functional exercise 24-7, but you maintain that basic function of your body 
what you then do is you layer on top the more advanced functional exercises so you may be a bodybuilder um, bodybuilding is obviously a lot of weighted exercises and it can put a lot of stress on the joint which can not make your body function optimally so it it can reduce your range of movement it can um, tighten up joints it can injure joints but if that's a sport that someone needs to do they need to do that exercise to be able to fulfill the specific task within that sport to build those bigger muscles but what they are negating is the basic function of their body so it's useful to add the two together now basic functional exercise doesn't mean just lifting weights what it means is developing your body so it can work optimally which includes lifting weights which includes body weight exercises which includes foam rolling which includes stretching and um, using let's say uh, hockey or lacrosse balls to mobilize tissues um, it could be having a massage once a week to relieve tension in tissues whatever it may be because again if we look at exercise it's not just the doing of exercise it's it's the whole um, it's the whole wheel or the whole uh, idea of becoming or developing your body that's exercise so exercise is a sort of a again it's a specific task to fulfill something so if that includes stretching it includes stretching stretching is then functional for the optimal function of, of your joints so what we've got to do is we've got to expand our knowledge of what functional exercise is and what functional exercise means so if we can include things like stretching mobility work um, foam rolling um, tissue release in any way shape or form be it a massage or be it using a lacrosse ball or a hockey ball or a, a golf ball whatever it may be because all of those things are bringing function to the body so it's not so much an exercise specifically but it's more the result that an exercise can give the body so if an exercise can give the body better shoulder function then it is functional if a stretch can give better function to the shoulder it is functional so what we've got to be able to do is expand our uh, definition of functional plus expand our addition of functional exercise because when it comes to the advanced functional people then tend to think that's a bad thing because they're playing a sport it's a very specific movement and the body will develop in that way and will uh, de-develop in another way so bringing that basic function is step one and then we move on to the adva advanced function of um, do, being able to do a sport but maintaining a solid basic function so hopefully that's been of some help um, and maybe clears up a few of the, the myths or confusions that may be out there regarding functional exercise. Um, but thanks for watching. Um, if you want to come and watch more, obviously come to the website, ChristopherHall.com, and I will speak to you in a future video.